Progressive Group does not have right to challenge the constitutionality of Jobs Ohio. ProgressOhio.org v. Jobs Ohio. Case number 2012-1272, 10th District Court of Appeals, Franklin County. The Supreme Court of Ohio ruled on June 10, 2014, that a public policy group and two legislators are not the proper parties to challenge the constitutionality of Jobs Ohio, the nonprofit economic development corporation formed by the state. This case is not about the merits of Jobs Ohio as a matter of law or policy. It's about the constitutional and traditional limits on our courts to hear only concrete legal disputes between affected parties. There has to be ju a ju justiciable controversy. Are you saying your issue, you do have one or it doesn't matter if you have one? The, we're saying that the action is clearly justiciable. We clearly have adversity here. And if you look at the definition of justiciable, we provide it to you. Uh, the Black's Law definition of justiciable merely means the quality or state of being appropriate or suitable for adjudication by a court. What is your justiciable issue? The justiciable I issue is the non, the admittedly non-particularized injury of whether the Jobs Ohio arrangement and legislation is constitutional and the general injury, the abuse of corporate powers by the state of Ohio uh, and its spending limits and how that risks harm to Ohio taxpayers and Ohio citizens. The constitutionality of Jobs Ohio was required to be challenged within 90 days, and this is the only party that brought that challenge. No but doesn't other party that just mean, me. doesn't that just mean that there is no party that sued? It doesn't mean, though, that there, there wasn't a party out there that could have sued. That, that's correct, Your Honor, but what, what it also means is that no other party today, as we argue this case, has standing to maintain the action, and it's also evidence the fact that no other because party- Because they didn't file within the 90 days. That's right. They're so you're barred. saying by virtue of the fact you pulled the trigger, you get to be the, that gives you standing? But now you're in the position of saying, well, the 90 days is run and we were able to sell the bond, so we're really not interested in the courthouse door being open to anyone. Not at all, Your Honor. The courthouse doors are wide open to people who truly have standing. As we who said- Who is standing today? I, I believe that if they disagree with the transaction, um, liquor, uh, private party people who deal with liquor, who now deal with the new arrangement, Why? more bondholders. Why? Why are they different? Because they have a concrete interest in a transaction. These various transactions that happen within Jobs, Jobs Ohio, any of those could give rise to somebody who right. feels their harm. But by the doors it. will be open forever for so, those people. But how do they know when the legislature says Jobs Ohio gets to do everything in secret? Well, Your Honor, first, that, that's so, not so. So how, how, do you, how do you know you've just been harmed? If you're doing a transaction with them, and all of a sudden you don't like how that transaction went. So you, know. you have to be dealing with them. Well, that's how you, most You don't have works. to be somebody who didn't, didn't get to deal with them. This court has never said, we start with the lawsuit must proceed, now let's go find a plaintiff. Their rule has no limits. It asks you to clear several constitutional hurdles and also several precedential hurdles, they still haven't explained away under Gladys, Schwartzwald, Cleveland Firefighters, Ohio Pyro, or Masterson, or Dan. They want you to throw away all that precedent, let everybody sue, as long as it's a constitutional challenge. That's their only limit. In a 5-2 to two decision, the Supreme Court held that ProgressOhio.org, Ohio Senator Michael J. Skindle, and former Ohio House member Dennis E. Murray do not have standing under the public right doctrine to bring an action against the Jobs Ohio legislation. The court held the public right doctrine does not apply to lawsuits filed in common pleas courts and that the parties would otherwise still fail to meet the requirements of the doctrine. Nor do the parties have traditional standing to challenge Jobs Ohio because they do not have a personal stake in the outcome of the case, the court determined. The party's other claims of standing to file suit also fail, according to the court. We do not hold that no person could ever have standing to challenge Jobs Ohio, Justice Judith L. French wrote for the majority. A proper party, i.e. one with legal standing, may unquestionably contest the constitutionality of Jobs Ohio. As to that proper party, the courthouse doors remain open.